Hey everyone, do you enjoy customizing your home screen? You don't really know what to do? Well then great, my name is Marco, welcome to my home screen and welcome to today's video tutorial. Wow, these minimal screens are really on a roll and today is featuring a screen of the day called Greenimal, which is green plus minimal equals Greenimal. Quite a smart name. So it's by MNZ Rework and it is, it's very clean, it's very sleek and it has leaves. So what else do you need? It's got your time, it's got your frequent apps at the bottom, it's got your battery percentage at the top as well as some little cute weather icon. It looks really good, it completes itself. So you want to know how to recreate this? Well, let us begin with today's video tutorial. Great, so this is a very easy screen to set up, there's not much hassle involved. So let us begin with our Nova settings. You're still welcome to use SS Launcher or even Apex. Both work really well for the screen. So to start off, we're gonna hold down on the, on the home screen and you wanna select the little wrench there to get into your settings. From here, your Nova settings gonna be going into your desktop and then into your desktop grid. Now a 10 by nine seem to work out pretty well for my Nexus 4. If you're having, a, say, um, using a Samsung, then it'll be pretty similar, but if not, try change it a bit and see what you get. Your margins you want to be none, your shadows you want to be off, home screens is just going to be one home screen. Moving down you want to disable label icons and yeah these widgets overlapping it's going to be kind of important if it comes to making them bigger but first start without them if it doesn't work you're going to have to be enabling them. So going back your dock you want it to be disabled and for your look and feel if you go into it you want to disable the notification bar you do not need it the one at the top but you can always if you go back you can go into your gestures and say use your pinch to zoom in or whatever double tap to display your notifications at the top. Also to take note there's no home there's no application draw so I highly recommend making your home button the app draw or you can just use a gesture if you prefer. Going back that is all of your nervous settings complete very easy to do so if you go back your home screen sh your home screen should be looking like this if you have any widgets or apps remember just to hold down and drag them into the X at the top. But once that's done, you'll be moving on to the wallpaper. Great, so for this wallpaper, some modifications will need to be done. Unfortunately, um, if you've got a Galaxy Note, that's what this, this screen was designed for, then your wallpaper will be all well and sorted. But if not, you're going to have to be doing some a little bit of photoshopping, especially if you want to change those icons because they'll be built into that wallpaper. So for my Nexus 4, I had to use wallpaper wizardry as it always seems to be jumping up and doesn't set the wallpaper correctly. All you'd have to do is find it in your wallpaper wizardry where you've copied it onto your phone and then just you just have to select it and then say set crop and then crop portrait. So remember that works well and then no scroll works well for Nexus 4. However if you're using a, say a Galaxy S2 or a Galaxy S3 the original wallpaper should work a lot better as I had to make provisions for the soft keys at the bottom. See once you've moved the handles it's got a little bit of space, a little bit of space at the bottom needed for those soft keys. So I just select set. So if you're using an other phone that doesn't work too well, wallpaper wizardry, or even image to wallpaper works just as well. So here is the wallpaper set up nice and clean. Remember, if you want to change each one of these icons, a PSD has been provided to put in your own icons. So once this is done, you can move on to the UCCW widgets. Now these UCCW skins are really easy to add. Um, if you're using another phone, you might just have to do some resizing, but that's pretty much it. So when I hold down on the home screen, you want to go into your widgets, and then from here you want to keep scrolling. They see me scroll, and you want to go into UCCW. You want to go say choose any size because it can just be resized anyway. I always like to go for a two by one. And next, you want to go into use up at the top. Remember that because you want to be importing these ones onto your home screen. So make sure that you've copied this green mall that, that's been provided in the link below. You want to copy this onto your, onto, onto your phone and then here will be your users that will have been provided. So if you have to start off with the battery, let's say it's a selected battery, I've already imported it so I'll just go yes. And here it is. So you just want to wait for it to appear. But remember if it shows up with a white box to drag it into the X at the top and then re-add it with, the, with that UCCW skin list, not re-importing it. So if you hold it down, this will allow you to resize it. This one's a bit big, so get a little bit in the corner. That looks good. Don't worry too much if it sticks out a bit. You can always just send it to the back just by holding down. And then they'll come up with an option saying send to back. 
if it is indeed in front of something. So that's that one done. So we'll be just adding in the rest. So next will be the clock. There it is over there, just need to resize it a bit. Next will be your status bar, that one at the top providing you with all your necessary notifications. There it is at the top, don't worry about that Gmail, we'll get to that now. And then finally you have your temperature or your temp.uzip. It's this one over here, you just hold down, you can resize it a bit better, like that. So here they've all been added, now all you have to do is make sure that your UCCW, your lock widget is off. If you don't know how to do that, just go into your apps here, look for UCCW, go into your menu here, and then make sure that your lock widget is off. So you go select it, it'll say disabling hotspot mode, so that means you'll be able to open up the editor. And why do you want to do that? Well, take for example, um, these ones at the top here, you want to be editing that Gmail account, you don't want it to, to say that. So you want to scroll down, and you want to select Gmail1. Scroll your controls across and you want to select your account. Once you've selected your account, you want to choose your label, say for example your inbox, and there it is set like that. Also you may have noticed, if we go back, it's a little bit low, so to change, we'll move all of them at once, you just need to select the top here, or that background, that is your select object menu. So you want to go into co common controls, as this will move all of them, so you just want to select position, faster movement, one, let's see one up, what that looks like. Yeah, that looks good. So you pretty much want to be just doing common control positioning for each one of these widgets until it looks something similar to this. It's very easy to do, I just had to move pretty much one of them up or down and there it is to it. Next, what you want to be doing is adding in each one of these icon shortcuts. So finally, for these icon shortcuts, you can either use desktop visualizer, but I always prefer using just the simple icons as it's just an icon, not a widget. And to do that with Nova Launcher, it's very easy. You're just going to be holding down on the home screen and selecting apps. Now, what's great about Nova as compared to, say, Apex is that you can select multiple at a time, which I just did there. So, say if I wanted to add in my camera, Chrome, Facebook, the Play Store, the gallery apps such as QuickPick, etc., etc. Once you've added in all the ones that you want, same goes for settings, you want to just select Add. It'll add them all at the top here. It makes it nice and simple because now you can just drag it to wherever you want it to go. So there is our, there's our settings. We're going to drag it like that. Remember, say, because now he has your UCCW skin, you need to be have, having widgets overlapped. Otherwise, it might jump that skin around. So now what you want to do is just basically drag all of these. You pretty much just want to keep placing them over each one of these icons. See, they're looking pretty good, even if they're not exact. Obviously, if you just tap on them, it'll bring you to your desired app. So now you want to change all of these to a blank PNG or just make it transparent. So let's start off with the Play Store. If you just hold down on it, select Edit, select the icon. You want to go into your gallery wherever you've saved your blank PNG. And let's go into here and then select the blank PNG. Make sure it's blank. Go OK. As you can see, it's disappeared. And selecting the, the, the tick at the top will now configure it for you. So now let's just double check. Selecting the Play Store will open up the Play Store quick and simple like that. So you just want to do that to all of these different apps over here. If you're wondering about that little unread notification count, that's from Nova settings. You just need to hold down, go into your Nova settings here, unread message count, and I'll just turn it on. I'm using Mist It. If you haven't used Mist It, check out our complete guide in the description below as it tells you how to add in stuff such as WhatsApp as well. So they have applied all the blank PNGs to each one of these applications. And there we have our home screen complete. Thank you very much guys, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, please leave us a like or subscribe to the My Color Screen channel, as well as check out our Facebook, Google Plus and Twitter communities. So this is Marco here from My Color Screen, and as always, don't stop customizing.